Welcome to Cool Tech Therapy. Thanks for joining me. This is uh, Cool Tech Therapy here. I um, wanted to do a follow-up video on something that y'all have asked me for. Um, <clears throat> basically regarding the Wi-Fi 6 um, installation. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So some people, uh, they have an ISP router. Me in particular, I have AT&T and they provide you the router uh, with the Wi-Fi already built in. Those things suck, by the way. <laughs> and I wish, you know, if it was up to me, I'd replace it, but it's a modem and router built in. So for those of you who don't know what a modem is, it's, uh, a modem is basically what gives you your actual internet connection. Um, it's a layer two device. Layer two basically means it's just a data link device. You have something called an OSI layer. You have a physical layer, which is, you know, uh, the electrical, um, the, the electrical signals that go from one device to another. You have uh, layer two, which is data link. Uh, data link basically, um, it's uh, it's kind of the logical layer that sends that there's an identification, layer two identification on every device. And that device talks to another layer two device and they use that same identification, but it's a very non, um, I, I guess, non-smart way to route devices. And then you have layer three, which is uh, your uh, network layer. The network layer is your actual um, networking uh, routing protocols where they live. So imagine if a device has to talk to another device um, and those two devices have IP addresses that all transverses through layer three. So I'm not gonna go through the other layers. There's, there's eight layers in total. So um, let's just focus on those uh, uh, two layers, layer two and three. Um, so when when an ISP gives you a device, they're giving you an all-in-one device. Um, it's a it's a both a layer two and a layer three device. So layer two being your modem, layer three being your router. Um, and when that happens, uh, they put it all in one device, so you don't have to keep buying other devices. Usually, uh, you know, depending on who you have, like Comcast, uh, you'll have a separate modem, and then you'll have a separate router. The router talks to the modem, which is considered the gateway, and then that will then go to the ISP and you know, route to the internet and all that good stuff. Uh, but in some cases, like AT&T, they will give you an all-in-one device. The problem with that is a lot of times the router they give you is not that great, so you, you kind of want to buy your own router. Um, but AT&T, they, they don't really like that. Uh, they like for you to use their router. It's more secure, all that bullshit. So what you want to do is get your own router, uh, but unless you know you know about these kind of things, sometimes people get intimidated. Once they plug in that route that router to the router, um, they see it doesn't work, and then they return it, and they say they have no choice but to use the um, ISP provided device. Uh, that's completely not true. Um, uh, I would say if your ISP doesn't allow your device to go into bridge mode, so bridge mode is basically it's just a pass through device turns off layer three and just it's a layer two device so it becomes a modem but AT&T's case is they don't want you to do that they just want you to use their device um, so you know you're shit out of luck so what you want to do is buy your good router um, you can allow AT&T to be the router but you want to turn your your uh, wireless router into an access point so an access point is a strictly layer two device um, you're basically connecting to the access point and then telling it that, hey, you're a layer two, this is a layer two device, I'm gonna send you to the router, which is the ISP router, and that will then go to the internet. But the good thing about this is you're not relying on the ISP uh, wireless um, equipment, because that shit sucks. So you want to um, get your own router. Me in particular, I got this device. Let me show you guys. Uh, I got the Orbi uh, Wi-Fi 6. <clears throat> So yeah, there's an ultra performance model. I don't, you know, I don't do that. Um, there's no, <laughs> that's kind of overkill. But I would suggest you get this one. Um, it's 700 bucks on Cyber Monday. It was a little cheaper, like 500 bucks or whatever. Uh, but it was, it's a really good router. Um, it's a Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 is just the newest, latest, and greatest uh, Wi-Fi um, Wi-Fi technology. You get the the fastest speeds. Um, and yeah. So you wanna you wanna get something good? I would recommend look for Wi-Fi six and go with that. 
um, once you once you have this so remember you get these two devices and this is a mesh network system mesh network is really good because um, this is the new technology that came out just a couple of years ago uh, that they're giving to the to the broader audience that a mesh network basically allows you to connect from um, um, from one device to another from one router from one access point to another pretty seamlessly uh, if you get a route in the past you would get a router and if you were in a dead spot or you're too far away from that router you would probably get something like an extender extenders aren't great just because um, they're very inconsistent uh, this is more like you're having two routers in the same uh, in, in this in the same house they talk to each other using the mesh technology or whatever and um, you get a very seamless experience there's no there's no uh, channel clashes there's no issues with that you just move forward you have really good signal throughout the entire house and uh, and yeah uh, that's why I really recommend mesh but if you want to go a step further get a mesh network with uh, Wi-Fi 6 enabled that's gonna really cover end-to-end -end your entire house uh, not gonna have any issues so this is the one I got I actually had the issue the um, the Orbi model before this was not Wi-Fi 6 it was actually just a, um, a tri-band of tri-band regular Wi-Fi system uh, so I'm trying to get the latest and greatest because you know when you have so many systems connected to your Wi-Fi you want to have the quickest speed available especially if you're streaming 4k if you're playing video games all that good stuff so I got this system uh, one device is a router the other one is a satellite um, yeah it's just a satellite so you place the the router where you have your actual ISP connection in your main office this is my consider my main office um, it actually does have some um, some ports in the back so you guys can see here you can connect up to four devices uh, and then your satellite um, which you can see here it's a satellite uh, you connect it to another room not too far kind of like in that middle range and then from there um, they will mesh together and uh, you'll have good connectivity throughout your entire house um, the reason why um, you know I think this is good for me because I have a back patio that I host a lot of um, you know get-togethers in I have a, a, a Wi-Fi not a Wi-Fi I have a, a projector back there that has a um, that has a Amazon fire stick connected to it so that connects to that has to connect really well to my Wi-Fi before my mesh network I actually had really shitty signal outside so that's why um, I decided to go with mesh network ever since then Wi-Fi outside has never been a problem so um, once you connect this, you want to make sure that you set it up as you always do. Um, the the I will say the setup for these things are super easy. It takes about five minutes, uh, even if you're not very technically inclined. Uh, you can set these up very quickly with their app. Uh, but remember, when you set this up, it's still considered a router. So the problem with that is, remember your ISP gives you a router, and now you're setting up another router to to talk to that router. So you're creating a layer three. Um, sorry, <laughs> you're creating a layer three clash. Uh, you're having two routers talk to each other. You have one router that's saying, "Here's my gateway." You have this router. It's saying, "Wait, what do I do with this?" So you're basically creating a routing loop. You have two routers that you know. There's just no need for two routers. You always have one router it takes you to the gateway out to the ISP. So what you want to do is you take this router <coughs> and you go into the uh, once you connect it, once you get the Wi-Fi set up and all that good stuff, you actually go to the um, OrbiLogin.com. Once you're in OrbiLogin.com, you log in through your admin privileges. You can't do this through the app. You have to do it through um, <clears throat> through the actual uh, browser itself. Fat fingered something. So once you log in to the actual device, um, you get a lot of these. You know, you get a lot of the same options you see in the in the browser itself. What you what you want to do is go to advanced settings. Go to advanced again. Um, <clears throat> router AP mode, and all you got to do is switch it uh, from router mode to AP mode. So it's no longer routing your devices. It's just giving your devices access, sending it to your ISP router, and then your router, um, your ISP router routes it from there. It becomes a layer two device, uh, but you're still getting the benefits of Wi-Fi six. Hey, sorry. Um, 
<laughs> it recorded uh it stopped recording for some reason but um as i was saying um all of the uh all the techn technological benefits from the 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 orbi um uh wi-fi itself you get so you're not you know you're not losing anything um from a router perspective yeah i mean i you i don't know the routing protocols that that the ISP router gives you versus the Orbi router, but um, what you really care about is that Wi-Fi 6 technology, the mesh Wi-Fi 6 technology that the ISP does not give you. So super simple, you apply it, it restarts, you um, you go, um, you know, walk away for a couple minutes, come back, back up and running. Now all your devices um, connect to that Orbi uh, uh, network um, with no problem. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Super quick, takes five minutes. A lot of people don't know this. They connect the Orbi or whatever mesh uh, better router they have to their ISP router. They um, they think it doesn't work, and then they return it, and they're stuck with their with their ISP router. They end up getting a Wi-Fi extender, which sucks too. Like Wi-Fi extenders are really old technology. You don't want to go with that. Get a mesh network, a Wi-Fi six if you can. Turn it into AP mode, and you're good to go. So um, yeah, please subscribe. Consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials. I know this is kind of all over the place, but hopefully it was helpful. Thank you.